Now, buying a home for the first time can be nerve-wracking and overwhelming, but Dave Murphy of Shoreline Realty is here to give you some tips to make it easier. So, Dave, uh, what can people do to streamline that process? Well, the first, usually with first-time home buyers, there's there's usually mortgage issues. So we get a professional involved with that, which we're not mortgage bankers. Uh, and they'll they'll go through their whole history of their credit and their their time on the job and those kind of things. Uh, and then once we establish what they can afford, then we get a wish list together for them. Uh, we ask them how many bedrooms they need, how many bathrooms they need. If they're looking for a yard or they ha comfortable with a condominium or maybe a townhouse, and then we we begin the search. Uh, we see the area they want to go to. And then we just start being realtors at that point. That's yeah. great. Yeah, yeah m most people forget this is a, a very important relationship to build mm -hmm. with that realtor because they're going to help you guide. It can be so intimidating the first time you buy a home. It's not only from the front end of that when you're trying to pick out a home, but when it comes to the financing as well. It is. And uh, when you're dealing with attorneys for the first time, you're dealing with uh, inspectors for the first time, pest inspections, zoning issues. Um, it can be a little bit overwhelming, so your realtor kind of guides you through, uh, and that's where some of the training comes through with our local board. Well, you walk them through that kind of overwhelming process, but you actually have a great listing for us today as well, right? We do. Uh, it's a listing in Arrowhead, uh, and when I moved here 20 years ago, it was the first home I actually walked into, and this was the model home, and now we have it listed here 20 years later. It's a, it's a great it's a great home. It's a four-bedroom, three-bath home um, that sits uh, with a view of the green of Arrowhead and also a lovely fountain. Um, it's on Coinbow Lane. It's on the corner. It's listed uh, at 334 um, 9, I believe. And um, uh, it's been barely lived in because the folks live in upstate New York. Yeah. Um, and they're trusting us with the uh, with the listing, so it's been uh, it's been fun to visit the home a lot too. Well, and those four bedrooms are really hard to find. Great four bedrooms in the Myrtle Beach area. Yeah, so. and this this is a Dr. Horton home. It's it's terrific. It's in great shape, um, and the and the the community is awesome. They have. Uh, tennis courts and pools and walking trails and all this kind of thing, so it's really neat. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah, well, thanks for having us. 